guys are developing an, an image and a, and, a, and a style. Who's mainly responsible for that? Scott pitched the idea of doing an emoji. We went through so many options of, you know, the face that we have now. And some of them were garbage, uh, pure adorable little guys that just weren't ever going to be, you know, rock and roll at all. There's been some arguments over like, the smallest of details. <laughs> we argue like crazy. You know, his eyebrows are too pointy or his, the X isn't big enough or that drip needs to be slightly more, you know. <laughs> we're, we're completely over the top with it, but it's, yeah, it's a, it's a team effort when it comes to all of those little design parts. It kind of symbolises what we've been through as well. We all kind of connect it as a band. Yeah. The, the whole face thing came um, partly to do with that, with the X covering your mouth. Do you think the trials and tribulations you talk about have actually pulled the five of you together and made you more, more of a unit? Without a doubt. Yeah, probably. I think, I think we've all thought maybe at points that our time was up as a band. I think there's been probably quite a few occasions. If we, we sat and wrote down three years worth of insane things, you're like, what? what? Why did we kick about still? Anything that's happened is in the past and it's just all about going forward. So it's the design we've got behind us and stuff probably wouldn't have existed. The songs would sound different. We'd probably, would have still been wearing open shirts and pointy Pointy shoes and stuff. And it's the same band, but it's really changed because of all those little things. And as Mark said, there's been points when you just go, oh, is it worth it? And then you play the next show and you go, yeah, it's worth it. I think ultimately as well, when you put on the finished album, proper buzzed, like I was really just, this is actually amazing. 